thank you for coming. We are here today to discuss the violent sequence of events in which the individual took it upon himself to shoot four innocent people, tragically killing one. Our hearts go out to all the families affected by the senseless violence. The shooter in these connective incidents used an illegal scooter that did not have a license plate to move from one location to the next. Despite the difficulties this presented, our investigators were able to pull video of the shooter. The image was sent to the smartphones of an NYPD officer using what is called a critical message. A mobilization was also called in order to marshal our resources and flood the area. As it became clear that these shootings were carried out by the same perpetrator, I immediately held an emergency conference call with all of our top executives, including Chief Department, the Patrol, and the Detective Bureau. Armed with an image of the suspect, our officers fanned out across Queens, focusing on the main thoroughfares. Shortly after 1 p.m., officers from the 103 and 113 precinct spotted the shooter on his scooter and took him into custody without incident near 94th Street confines of the 103 precinct. A firearm was recovered inside the scooter. The 9mm pistol had an extended magazine. Given the violence this individual was willing to carry out, I want to extend my deepest thanks and gratitude to all the men and women in the NYPD who came together to apprehend him. From our officers on patrol, to the various detective squads, our specialized units, to our leadership in the field, you are relentless in your work, and I know you are also grateful that this person is no longer on our streets. I will now turn it over to Chief Joe Kenny to share details about this ongoing case. My name is Assistant Chief Joseph Kenny from the Detective Bureau. I'm going to discuss five incidents that occurred in the confines of the 75 precinct in Brooklyn and four incidents that occurred in the confines of the 102 precinct in Queens. The investigation into these incidents is active and ongoing. The information I'm going to give is preliminary. I will not be providing the victims' names at this time as notifications are still being made to family members. Incident number one, at approximately 11.10 a.m. at the northwest corner of Ashford Street and Arlington Avenue in the confines of the 75 Precinct in Brooklyn, an identified male Hispanic, 21 years old, was shot one time in the left shoulder. He was transported to Brookdale Hospital. He is not in likely condition. He will survive. One 9mm shell casing was recovered at this location. Detectives from the 75 Precinct responded to the scene with patrol. As they began to process the scene, they came across video that shows a male Hispanic approach our victim from behind on a scooter, raises his hand one time and fires one time, striking our victim. Incident number two, 17 minutes later, at approximately 11.27 hours a.m., in the confines of the 102 precinct in Queens, we received several 911 calls of a male shot in front of 108-19 Jamaica Avenue. When officers respond to this location, they discover a male shot one time in the back. The victim has been identified as a male Asian Pacific, 87 years old. This victim was transported to Jamaica Hospital, where unfortunately, he did not survive his injuries. Three 9mm shell cases were recovered from this scene. The perpetrator was described as a male on a scooter, firing at a nail salon on Jamaica Avenue. Incident number three. When patrol officers responded to the scene of the homicide, they were alerted of another incident involving a shot being fired. Thankfully, nobody was struck. Numerous witnesses described the male on a scooter randomly firing at a group of people that were standing on the corner of 108th Street and Jamaica Avenue. One additional 9mm shell casing was discovered at this scene. After firing this round, the perpetrator fled on his scooter northbound on 108th Street toward Hillside Avenue. Eight minutes later, at approximately 11.35 hours, another victim was shot on the corner of Hillside Avenue and 126th Street. This male is a male Hispanic, 44 years old. He was shot one time in the face with the bullet striking him in the cheek. He was removed to Jamaica Hospital where he's listed in critical condition. Once again, nine millimeter ballistics evidence was recovered at this scene. Incident number five, less than one minute later, at 11.37 hours a.m., another male was shot at 134th Street and Jamaica Avenue. 
Officers responded to the scene and discovered a male Hispanic, 63 years old, with a single gunshot wound to his right shoulder. He was removed to Jamaica Hospital as well and is in stable condition. Four 9mm shell casings were discovered at this scene and witnesses once again described the male on a scooter. Personnel Service Bureau and detective personnel were immediately deployed to assist in this investigation. An attempt to identify and apprehend the suspects began immediately. The acting police commissioner, Eddie Caban, immediately chaired an executive uh, meeting and we were given specific tasks and responsibilities to try and catch this, uh, this perpetrator. Based on this quick deployment, the shooter was apprehended on the corner of Sutton Boulevard and 94th Avenue at approximately 1.10 p.m., less than two hours from when the first incident took place in Brooklyn. Patrol officers from the 103 and 113 precinct recognized the shooter based on photos that were immediately distributed to every cop in the street. The scooter, and more importantly, the 9mm semi-automatic pistol were also recovered. An extended magazine, as well as additional 9mm rounds were also recovered. I can tell you right now the perpetrator is a male, Hispanic, 25 years old, with one prior arrest in New York City. Thank you. So quickly apprehend the suspect in regards Thank you very much, everybody. 